Hey, it's Chuck. I know you're asking, is this really about what I think it's about? Yes. Yes, it is. So Friday morning, there was a story published and everybody was talking about it, that Aaron Nolan had left the team. I was asking around where this information came from and they all said Bucknuts. So I go to Bucknuts, um, couldn't find the story, ask again. Somebody eventually sends me this story, which apparently is behind a paywall and in a section that is kind of a message boardy style of section of information that they put out that looks to be like insider information, but they say clearly, we don't treat this as insider information. Um, we, we can't say if it's true or not. We don't attribute it to anyone or any reporter. So like they, they try to cover themselves by saying, look, we don't back whatever this is. At the same time, at the very top of it, they tell you, you know, last week we predicted uh, Jaden Ricketts was going to run a blazing 40 time. And look, he just got a scholarship offer yesterday to Ohio State. So you're, you're saying at the top, look at the accuracy of this thing. And then at the bottom in the fine print, we don't, you know, we don't stand behind any of this. A little bit of a, f a fuzzy message there to me. But, you know, I'm not a journalist. I didn't go to Big J school. Anyway, here's what the article said. Unfortunately, we have learned through multiple sources that true freshman quarterback Air Nolan is not with the team right now for personal reasons. Now, the good news is that he has Ryan Day's backing and is expected back at some point. More good news is the Buckeyes just kicked off their summer conditioning program with Mick Barati. However, a source does not expect Nolan to be in Columbus next week. Quote, no, I would be shocked if that happens, the source said. He'll probably be down in Georgia for a while. Getting himself right is the most important thing here. And from a football standpoint, let's be honest, he wasn't going to play this year anyway. He would have been fifth on the depth chart, maybe fourth if he would have surpassed Lincoln. It's funny to hear fans refer to the spring game and how Air, Air outperformed Nolan. Out, sorry. It's funny to hear fans refer to the spring game and how Air outperformed Julian. Yeah, well, maybe he did that day. But ask anyone on the team who was by far the better quarterback throughout spring, and they would say saying over air for sure. End quote. It has been an interesting few months for Nolan since he joined the program in January. He's a talented quarterback who seems to be well-liked by his teammates. But there was an incident in February where he was late to a meeting with the quarterbacks and running backs. Then, a few days later, a few of his teammates and he signed up to volunteer at a food drive, and he was considerably late to that too. The coaches were less than pleased about both situations. Anyway, we hope whatever he's dealing with is alleviated soon. We just wanted to update you as to what we're hearing. All right. So at that point, Ohio State then at about, I don't know, four o'clock in the afternoon, tweets out their picture from practice like the social media team does, I don't know, every so often. And prominently featured in that picture was one Air Nolan with a big old smile on his face looking happier than ever. Now, of course, everybody was absolutely ripping buck nuts on this. So I wanted to recap this situation in a video. I did the video. The next day, there was a comment on the video. So the comment said, shaking my head. Aaron Nolan's been at every practice. I should know. I'm his father. And it was from Prentice Nolan. Well, Aaron Nolan's name is Prentice Nolan III, which means dad's name is Prentice as well. Grandpa's too. But I clicked on the account and it said it was created 12 years ago. So I knew it wasn't a troll that made this account yesterday. So I wrote under it, email me, which he did. And then we had a phone conversation and he suggested, let's come on the air. And here he is, Prentice Nolan Jr. Going to clear the air about his son, his uh, family's experience with Ohio State so far, how they feel about the program. Um, it was a really interesting conversation. He's a really great guy. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed as much as I did. And hopefully it puts the noise to bed. All right. So joining me here today at Juck on Bucks, Prentice Nolan Jr., father of Prentice Nolan III. That is Air Nolan, as we know him in Ohio State world. Thank you so much for joining me, Mr. Nolan. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Buckeye gear on. I love it. So, um, My pleasure. Thank you. We we uh, connected via uh, a, the comment section in one of my videos, and that video was uh, about a rumor that was spread on a on a prominent Ohio State website about Air. Um, but I kind of want to take it back to kind of the beginning of when Air first came in. 
Um, you know, there were rumors spreading around right from the very beginning. And I think the reason that people were spreading that is because they thought maybe he might be unhappy uh, with Julian Sand coming in the class. And they were saying that Ayers not adjusting well to college. Ayers not doing well. He's struggling. Very veiled and kind of secrecy. Is there any truth to any of that? <laughs> I'm laughing at that, actually, to be honest with you. But first, before I even get into that, first of all, I got to give a shout out, a major shout out to Coach Day and his staff, man. Like, them guys are doing a fun, fantastic job with those young men over there. You know, I'm a coach myself personally. I don't know if you know that. And I know how it is to have all those egos in the room and to see the things that Coach Day and his staff is doing over there with those young men in Columbus. I tilt my hat off to them. I tilt my hat off. I mean, it takes a lot as a staff to be able to make sure those kids are doing the things that they need them to do day by day. The drills, the uh, the conditioning with Coach Mick them inside. I have to give those coaches their props before we even start this interview off discussing the situation about my child. That's fantastic to hear. I mean, obviously, uh, it, it's something that I that I praise often is is the culture that they've established there under Coach Day. Uh, when you see these guys come out, I mean, even when they're there, they sound so much more mature than their age. For one. They're all just all right. incredibly mature, and, and the culture is just fantastic. Nobody's ever in trouble. Um, it's something that I'm proud of as a fan. But, right. uh, I'm sure as a dad, it makes you feel a whole heck of a lot better to Definitely. have your son in a place like that. Especially when I'm here in Atlanta and they, they're in Columbus. You know, That's a great feeling to have. Now, I guess to answer your question, you were saying as far as something about uh, air struggling, something to that degree that you was just asking. Yeah, has, has he adjusted well? Has everything gone well, well for him, or has he had issues? Yes, Air, Air has definitely adjusted. Now, I'll be the first to say, yeah, he was a little homesick when he got there. I mean, that's any kid that's 17, 18 years old. We all go through that. I went through it when I went to college, University of South Carolina. I was homesick. I would call my mom every weekend. Mom, can I come home this weekend? She's like, no, stay up there. Get your education. Do what you got to do. You know, so, of course, he was a little homesick. and. He went on track as preparing himself for what he needed to do, you know, at a college level. Because you got to remember, he's leaving early. He's enrolling early. So he had to adjust to getting his butt up. You know, I don't know if you cuss on this show. I'm just going to say ASS. He had to adjust to getting himself up at 530, 5 o'clock in the morning and getting ready to go do what needed to be done there. You know, he was used to high school, getting up at you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock, you only got to be to school at 8.30, so you're running out the door at 8.20. You get there, what, 10 minutes with Ohio State, different situation. So, of course, yeah. he definitely had to adjust to that. And, you know, he made a few errors. I hear people saying he's missing classes, missing meetings. I've heard all kinds of stuff on these podcasts because I look at them. A lot of these parents look at this stuff. You know, they probably don't say much, but I look at them. But, no, nothing like that. Aaron has definitely made a great adjustment and did what he needed to do, you know, as far as his college situation right now at Ohio State. That's fantastic to hear. And I'll, I'll just tell you from, from someone who interacts with the fans a lot, uh, as I myself am, am a fan, um, everybody really loves air. I mean, this, the quality of individual right. he is. You've done a great job uh, as a parent, and I know that he graduated high school early, as did uh, his Me older siblings. Don't, don't, don't leave her out. Me and his mom did a great job, okay? <laughs> I Absolutely. have to give her due credit, too. It ain't just me. It's a family. Absolutely. You, I, did a, I did a piece on uh, on air a while back, and, and I kind of broke down the whole family story of what I had read uh, in an article in uh, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution a while back. Um, you mm -hmm. guys seem like a great bunch and uh, clearly right. raised him right. Um, so the thing yeah. you were commenting on yesterday was this this kind of salacious article that was uh, reported in uh, Bucknuts, which is a 247 website dedicated to Ohio State. Um, okay. where they essentially said air is no longer with the team. Now, shortly after, the Ohio State media team posted a picture from practice of air with the team, which was kind of my thumbnail. Um, like, yeah, everything's cool with air. Um, and you commented on that saying that, uh, yeah, air's at practice. I should know I'm his dad. Now, I thought you were someone trolling me. <laughs> you just made up an, an account named Prentice, Prentice Nolan, Nolan, but uh, it was really you. So. Right, yeah. yeah. When it comes to my son's character, believe me, I'm going to speak up for him, okay? You got to remember, this kid's still 17, 18 years old, okay? 
He's not a grown That's man me. like we are. And, you know, I still don't get how grown people still come on there and attack a 18 year old kid, you know, who's just trying to, you know, do right and live right, you know, but hey, some people don't have no life. You know how that is. I, I, I certainly understand. And, and some people do whatever they can for clicks and, and uh, whatever, whatever they're doing, but I, I, everything's good with there. Then he was at practice. He never came down to Georgia. Everything's cool. Yeah, not, I'm in Georgia right now. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. College Park, Georgia, actually, where Air is from. And Air is not here. Air is in Columbus, Ohio. Actually, if he's here, I hope he come down here and join us. Air, if you're anywhere here, come on down and join us. <laughs> but he ain't going to answer because he can't hear us in Columbus. So to put the rumors to that story, you know, Air, is, he's, he's doing what he's got to do. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep preaching it. The things that Coach Day and his staff, are instilling in him, me and his mom, we're we're satisfied. Brothers, sisters, sisters. He's got family. He's got a big family here in Atlanta. And, you know, of course, when we hear the rumors, you know, my phone is ringing here in Atlanta. Hey, is it true? I might have got like 45 calls here in Atlanta about that situation. Oh it, it's not good. It's not good as a father to hear that. You know what I mean? Even when I know yeah. I just got off the phone with my son 30 minutes ago, you know, asking him, how was practice? You know, where did y'all go over? You know, because you got to remember, like I said, I'm a coach too. So I'm a dad and a coach. So I'm talking to him as a father and a coach. So just to hear stuff like that, you know, I have to call him sometimes and say, hey, look, don't get on social media, such and such, such, such. Don't listen to it. Just keep doing what you're doing, son. So yeah, just to put the rumors to bed, airs in Columbus. He's there's no problem. There's no situation. Like I said earlier, did he get a little homesick? Yes, he was homesick when he first got to Ohio because he's like any other normal human being. You know what I mean? That leaves. It's like me and you leave this country and go stay in Argentina right now. We ain't going to sit here and say that we're going to feel the same. You know, it's going to take us a couple of months or, you know, it may take people a year to adjust to that, you know, there's being somewhere else that you're not used to, not being around his friends up at the great Langston Hughes. You got to get a shout out to Langston Hughes here in Atlanta, Georgia, where Air right. played um, football at for four years, you know, so that's the situation, but he's there in Columbus. One over right. 50 games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. do you yeah. coach at Langston Hughes? No, I didn't coach at Langston, no. I don't coach my son. I don't need to do okay. that like most fans do. <laughs> <laughs> I coached him since he was four years old, though. I will say that he's always played up in youth football. He's never played his own age group because we got down here what is called dual age group here in Atlanta. So meaning if you're six, you're probably going to be playing against eight-year-olds, you know what I mean, older kids. Yeah. So he's always played up. He's always been against competition. I just hate hearing that word on the Internet when I hear they say he's running from competition. Oh, he's going to be in the porter. The spring port is such and such. Air's not going nowhere. Air's not running from nothing. Trust me. Air loves his team. He, he, he especially loves the quarterback group. I don't know why these people keep trying to divide them. I mean, he talks good about it. He talks about the leadership Will puts out. He talks about Devin. He talks about all his quarterbacks and stuff that he's learning, you know, from each person who's a little older. Because, like I said, you got to remember, he's 18 years old. He's still yeah. a kid. You know, adult yeah. kid, but he's still a kid. And I just wish people just, you know, just let people live their life, have fun, you know, and do what they need to do, you know, to get to the, the next level. Well, I think that was, uh, I, I don't think anybody could have said it better than his own dad. So right. I hope anybody who's spreading that kind of stuff watches this and, uh, right. and, and, and puts this to bed for good. Um, because right, clearly right. they can see that that's a, a very bothering thing for a parent yes. to hear that about that's their a son. That's parent, definitely, definitely. You know, and he's doing great things here in Atlanta when he comes here. A lot of people don't know this. Air's running a mental health awareness program. He does stuff. He mentor kids. It's not like he gets to come here and, you know, lay down and be lazy and do the things that kids want to do, go see their girlfriend and go to the movies. He's constantly busy doing things to help, you know, other people and help himself. So, that stuff I want to put out, you know, and, you know, like I said, I could just never be grateful enough for people like the supporting staff there at Ohio State in Columbus, people like C.J. Barnett, uh, Sean, 
uh, 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 Sharon. Those people, I, I, I can say I owe them my life right now because I trust them with my child. They they call us and update us, let us know if anything's wrong. You know, they look, they take his family there in Ohio State. They really look after our young men. And, you know, we're proud that our son, and I'm speaking for his mom too right now, and his brothers and sisters, that there's a part of what they got going on up there in Columbus. You know, he's really happy. So if anybody's thinking he's, he's upset about other 24s coming in or 25s coming behind, that's not air. Air's not running from no competition. He loves it, actually, if you want to know the truth. Wow. Th this was fantastic. Um, that was great. It's also fantastic to hear that about uh, the program that I love, that you love, um, from a parent. Right. And uh, it's something I've heard a lot lately um, about what's going on over there. So that's just great to hear. I'm happy you got to come on and, and, and kind of right. set it straight uh, with your own right. words. So I right. really appreciate you joining me. And hopefully next time we do it, we can talk about some football. Okay, definitely. That's what – it's funny you said that because we don't get to talk about that much up there when I am in Columbus because when I do see the staff, people like, you know, Coach Shelley and Coach Dave, you know what those guys talk about? You want to know the truth? I'm going I'm to be yeah. honest with you for five seconds here. Those guys talk about life. They don't talk to me about football. They want to know how you're doing in life. How's the family? So that's why I like those guys like Coach Day, Coach Chip Kelly, uh, the late, uh, uh, the great guy, uh, Coach Dennis, who's no longer with them. But that's what he yeah. used to talk about to, to me and Eric, about life. How's Eric doing life-wise, mentally-wise, physically-wise? That's the stuff I like. You know what I mean? Even Coach Absolutely. Bryant. We forgot about him. A lot of people keep forgetting. Air has had three different quarterback OCs. Everybody keep forgetting that. You got to yeah. remember. That's why he, <laughs> he said three different OCs. So he had to adjust. He had to adjust to each coach. And he's been mm -hmm. able to do that. You know what I mean? Starting with, you know, coach. Uh, 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 God, I can't get his name out of my mouth. Dennis. Coach Dennis. Adjusting to Coach O'Brien, the few little months he was there, a month and a half. And then, of course, now, which is his coach, Coach Kelly. He's adjusting yeah. to Coach Kelly. So I just pray that, you know, we just let these kids, these young men, I don't want to call them kids, they're young men now, and they're, you know, they're growing up fast. Let's just let them have fun. Let them live their life. We, we live in hours. Let's stop trying to live our life through the internet for clicks and baits. It's not going to get you nowhere. Like, you live in rent free in somebody else's head. But that's basically all I wanted to talk about. I just want to say, you know, closing. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Thank you so much for joining me, bud. No problem, man. Enjoy your weekend. You too. I mean, one thing's for sure. Uh, that's a classy family. There's no doubt about that. You know, that's a family with uh, – and I had done a piece on air a little while back. Um, all three of the kids – graduated high school early and it's just like you know they're a big into education it's just a solid family solid as they come and uh when you hear a dad talking about his son like that at least for me it makes me feel um kind of silly sometimes when we're talking about these guys like uh the players i mean like uh they're chess pieces on a board you know and then i talk to this man who has a son my middle boy's age and uh yeah kind of puts things in a different perspective but what a guy really classy guy classy family and what amazing things he said about the program and that never gets old hearing that from parents when they're talking about the program um that we all love so uh you know appreciate you coming on mr nolan thank you so much and uh i am happy that uh you were able to clear that up for everybody not, not that they deserved an explanation, but you were able to clear it up for yourself um, and put an end to the nonsense. And I hope that does put an end to the nonsense and we don't see any more uh, stories regarding Aaron Nolan. Maybe next time, even with a disclaimer, we could use a little more discretion. Remember here, they do cite multiple sources in this story. Not one. Multiple sources told them that Aaron Nolan was no longer with the team. I would suggest that they vet those sources a little better next time because uh, we heard him shout for air. We heard him. So 
Anyway, that's all we got today. Thanks, guys. Chuckin' Bucks up. All right, there we have it.